Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, I thought I'd bring a, a vlog style video today because I've been doing a lot of uh, playing videos and I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a background on me, um, kind of, you know, when I started playing guitar, what I've done, what kind of events I've gone to, and um, who influences me as a guitarist. Um, so let's get straight into it. Um, I've been playing for around five, six years. I started playing in high school around ninth grade. Um, school was a interest-based learning school, so at the time I was interested in guitar, and so I studied guitar. I, for the projects I did, I built a guitar, I built a cabinet, um, I recorded two EPs there. Um, I learned like the recording, you know, techniques of a studio guitarist and, you know, how when you play something uh, and you think it's good, then you go back and listen to it and it's, you know, not in time and how the metronome, you know, you really have to lock in with the metronome. That's a huge part. Um, so, it, like, I learned all those skills and learned as much as I could around music, and then that paved the way for me going to McNally uh, Smith College of Music as a guitar major. Um, you know, it really kind of opened my eyes to me liking the guitar, and that's why I've been playing for six years. Is you know, I got to study it, and it's something I really enjoy. And you know, if I went to a normal public school, you know, who knows what would have happened. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like, I've been playing for six years, and I've been doing a lot of that. And uh, throughout that time, I've been doing a lot of recording. Uh, it's something I enjoy doing. Um, at times, other times it can be very frustrating. Um, but every single time you get better. And you know, YouTube is helping me get better because I have to record every single time to get the stuff there. So, you know, it's, it's helping me hone my skills of stuff that when I'm noodling, I'm like, oh, it's great. And then, you know, I go to play it for a video or something, I'm like, well, that's sloppy as all hell. Uh, so, you know, that's helping me a lot. Um, so, for my influences of people that influence me, um, definitely number one and number two are Guthrie Govan and Steve Vai. Uh, those two players are just phenomenal. Uh, I've known Steve Vai since ninth grade. Uh, you know, funny story, I was at a Nordberg Sanctuary camp where I was a camp, you know, counselor, and I, uh, w you know, I was, I had just heard about Steve Vai like two weeks ago, and I was in awe of his playing, and this uh, camper comes up, and he's wearing like a Steve Vai shirt, and, you know, the other camp counselor was like, oh, I'm a huge fan of Steve Vai, and I was just sitting there listening, and, and the kid's mom looks at us, and he says, guess who his, you know, uncle is, and we're like, oh, who? And then the kid says, Steve Vai. And I was like, whoa, holy, oh, wow. And uh, so I recently, to, uh, last summer, I went to Vai Academy. And I uh, got the chance to meet Steve and jam with him on stage and you know, hear everything that he has to stay, say about you know, guitar. And you know, that was a really eye-opening experience. And I told him about that story. And he actually knows the kid. Like, the kid is actually legitimately his, you know, he, he's his uncle. Um, but, you know, for getting back on track, I was kind of rambling, but uh, Steve Vai is, you know, definitely a really influential player. He's just, there's so much, um, so much depth to his playing. And, uh, you know, he's, he just c continues to put out amazing music. And, um, you know, he's a really good player. And uh, also, Guthrie Govan was at the, the camp, so I got to, I didn't know really who Guthrie was at the time, but when he, you know, I, I had a clue, but then, like, when he started playing, he quickly, like, went up on the list of, like, my favorite guitarists. Like, there's, again, there's so much to his playing, but I feel like his style fits, it's something that I connect with a little bit more, it's something that feels home to me uh, more than other styles. Uh, it's just, like, I never know what he's going to do next. And his playing is just so fluent. It's really good. Um, you know, he has so much sass to his playing, and you know, so much uh, you know technical skill. Really, uh, his, his knowledge is amazing. Um, but you know, he was really good. When we were at Vi Academy, I got to you know 
hang out with Guthrie in a bar, which is really cool. You know, Guthrie signed my guitar, uh, one of my guitars, and uh, you know, I asked him like what's going through his head when he was doing all this, you know, the chromatic stuff that he's playing on the guitar and you know all that. He just for the guitar solos, and he just looked at me and he was just said nothing really, which was really cool. Um, I guess a lot of guitarists think like that. You know, Rob Chapman said he thought like that. Um, also, Vi, you know, he like the whole concept of Vi Academy was. Um, for your guitar solos, you know, kind of get in this ultra zone, as Vi like to call it, and you would, uh, a, like a place where you're just feeling the music and, you know, just reacting off of it. And uh, so that, you know, that what Guthrie said, what Vi said, and Rob Chapman said, you know, it, it's kind of what, I guess, you know, the consensus of, of how to, you know, play guitar solo. Um, I mean, there's theory and everything and muscle memory, but you know, that was, you know, what Vi Academy was based on. It was also on song evolution, making songs. Uh, so, you know, that that was, you know, Vi Academy. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun. If, you know, if anyone ever has the opportunity to do something like that, you know, go to the G4 experience that uh, Joe Satriani has, which I want to go to one of these years, or the Vi Academy because he's going to be doing more. I know he's doing one this summer. With Eric Johnson, uh, you know, definitely go to it. It is by far one of the best experiences I've you know had the chance to do, and you know it was great. It was just you know, just jamming with Vi, and uh, you know, I mean it was a little bit nerve wracking, but it was really cool. You know, the band was really cool. Jeremy and Philip were were great guys. You know, the food was great. The hotel was great. Um, it was like a getaway for musicians, and you know, there's tons of guitars that were wicked skilled. Uh, and, you know, it was definitely worth it. So, so if you ever have the opportunity, I'd definitely go do that. You know, it's phenomenal, phenomenal time in my life. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, and then you know, Rob Chapman and Revere are definitely you know some guitarists I look up to. Uh, you know, I met, I went to. The Chapman Guitar Bus Tour in Boston, which you know I had gotten this from Riff City, and I had um, had Robin Rebeer sign it. You know I had met Rebeer earlier in the year at a uh, uh, one of his clinics at Riff City Guitar, so I knew him from before, and he actually remembered me from from that, and he because uh, he you know talked to me on the side about it. like he's like I know you from somewhere, and I told him it was really cool. It's a cool moment, but that was another cool event, you know, picking their brains and seeing what, you know, goes through their head. Again, they're great players, you know, they know what notes to hit when, you know, the chord's going, you know, by. Uh, so yeah, those, those are really good players as well. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, some of my influences is how long I've been playing. Uh, just thought I'd do like a small vlog today on, you know, again, influences and how long I've been playing and kind of like a brief history on what I've done. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, catch you later. Hopefully I'll, you know, have some more videos of me playing in a little while. I noticed that, you know, the the backing track ones are getting you know, a lot of people like that. So I'm going to do, do a little bit more of that. Um, I wish I could do more demos of this guitar, but I've already done it. A lot of people like that. Uh, I need to get more on their Chapman apparently. Uh, uh, because they're such amazing guitars and you know you guys like the demos of them um, but also in the comments below uh, comment on what you would like to see um, more from me uh, I was gonna do a video of me playing over the crying machine backing track by Steve Vikes I know that song but the guitar solo is being really difficult so it's, it's really hard to nail it's like constantly going and again you know recording is uh, fast stuff for me is is a struggle. Not like a struggle, but it's something I need to get better at. Uh, it's something that it's just I, I don't know what it is. The minute I'm start recording, I, I my hands just start hitting really hard on the fretboard, and that loses speed on uh, um, my playing. But hopefully, I'll be able to nail it soon. But yeah, in the comments below, put something that you'd like to see from me. Um, and yeah, thanks for all the support. Have a great day.